Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. I made the best video that I have ever made today and I made it with this eye look that I'm wearing which I used the Natasha Denona mini retro palette the brand new one that just came out um, and I used my real camera to film hoping that I would make a better quality video for all of you and the file is corrupted and I can't use it so it was all a waste of time I mean not really I still made a really pretty eye look which it looks totally different in this light than it did in the real camera the video quality on an iPhone is not the same as the picture quality on an iPhone. The picture quality is fantastic. The video, not so much. I'm not really liking it. I'm, and I'm looking, I realize I'm looking at the screen instead of looking at the camera and I need to look at the actual camera as I'm speaking. But anyway, it was a really good video that I made. I was able to describe my techniques as I was going. I was telling you which brush I was using. I was uh, telling you what products I was using, how I was applying them. It was the best video that I have made to date and I did it in 30 minutes. So I was really proud of myself for that. And it did not work. I mean, it worked, but it didn't. I can't upload it. There's nothing I can do. The, I, I'm pretty sure that the memory card is corrupted and I need a new memory card. I'm hoping that that's it because if that's not it, then there's something wrong with my camera itself. And it's cheaper to just get a new memory card. So fingers crossed that it's just the memory card. But I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna like give you swatches of this little bad boy. And I guess I can show you some other things that I picked up uh, during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. Um, so first off, let's just start with the swatches. I'm just gonna do them on the back of my hand because it's the easiest. Uh, let's start with let's start with this shade right here. So it's like a nice like light pink shade. It is. Uh, it's shimmery, but it's not like an over-the-top color. The next one is a matte, and it's also kind of like a pinkish peachy matte, peachy pink. So I'm not sure how well that one will show up on deeper skin tones, but it worked, it worked really nicely on me. The next shade is a green shade, but it has like a grayish hue to it. Uh, but it definitely reads like more on the green side, especially in real life. Like I know you're looking at this. This looks really, really dark. But let me see if I can just like adjust the light. Not really. Maybe. I don't know. But um, it's. Let me see. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but it's definitely a little bit more on the green side than it is on the gray side. But it does have like a gray undertone to it. Same with the next shade, which is uh, a, a metallic shade. And so let me swatch that one for you. Which that one is more intense than the pink shade up here. And then finally, we have this bad boy, which is like her topper type shade. And I love these shades from her. Like, I love them. They are full of like the little glitters. And they just look magical on the eye. And it's like a peachy shade. So those are the swatches of her new mini retro palette. I did post the look that I did um, on Instagram already uh, once I realized that I could not um, upload my original video. 
So the look is up there. You can go check it out at Aileron Beauty. Um, oh, and I also used in this look Urban Decay's Mildew, which is a green as an eyeliner, and Wild Side as like an accent eyeliner. So I thought they both went really well with the whole look. And uh, let's see, what else? Uh, okay, so when I did my foundation, I used a brush, it's this Koya Odo, Koi Udo, Koi, I don't know how to say this one's name, but it's the first time I ever used a natural hair foundation brush. And I did end up having to go over it with a damp beauty blender once I was done. I think I'm just not used to applying foundation this way. So that was a little bit different for me. But it was very soft. And I enjoyed it. And I will use it again. And I had to use less foundation than I usually do when I apply with just the beauty blender. So that's good to know. Um... I also used another new Kuyoto brush for my bronzer. This one, I read reviews. This one is called, it just says the Kuyoto Collection. Um, but, so I'm not sure what it's called off the top of my head. But if you go on Beautylish, you can find it. It's big. I think, it, I think it's $52. Um... People are saying that it's like a dupe for the Tom Ford bronzer brush that was like $110 or something like that uh, before he switched over to synthetic hair, which I never owned that brush. So I can't say for certain if it, if I think that this is a dupe for that or not. It just, uh, I will say that it applied my bronzer very nicely. I enjoyed, I enjoyed the application. It's very soft. And I would say it is up there in my, in my, you know, favorite brush realm. Uh, and I will definitely be trying more brushes from this brand because I really enjoy this one. And this one also says that it can be used as a foundation brush. So I already used it as a powder brush. So I, I'll wait until like after I wash it um, before I try using it for like a cream foundation. So, um, but yeah. So it was a very nice bronzer brush, and I recommend that. Um, I did also pick up a new Chikahedo brush because I never owned this one, but I do love their brushes. I have the GSN 9. This is the GSN 7, which is massive. But the way I like to do eyeshadow, especially for, like, Natasha Denona eyeshadows, this brush is perfect for it. I will use it how I use the Sonia G worker brushes, which is I just like kind of tap it in like that. And then you can also blend it too because it's like a really soft brush. So uh, there's that. Okay. And then some other things. Okay. These are some things I picked up during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I got this Derma E Firming eye lift with peptides and vitamin b3 it's just an eye cream it was 50 percent off so like i kind of couldn't resist uh that kind of thing um never tried this brand before but it says that it's gmo free cruelty free 100 percent vegan soy free gluten free and recyclable and there's you know a lot of the no things that i don't use i didn't check to see if there is um silicones in it which I try not to use in skincare it does not appear that there are but I'm also not giving it like a full look um, so it first glance does not appear to have silicone another thing I got was these Derma E eye patches I do like to wear eye patches like as I'm doing my eye makeup because I always do my eye makeup before I do my face makeup so it's like it's just like a nice step. It's like a pampering step and I enjoy it. And they were half off. So I went for that. And then I did also pick up. Mm, get all up close and personal. Um, they were both 
half off, so I kind of had to. I mean, I didn't have to. Who were we kidding? But you guys know I'm addicted to eyeshadow palettes. And if you don't know, now you do know. I'm addicted to eyeshadow palettes. Um, this brand is kind of hit and miss. Some things from them I really love. Some things I really, really do not. So we shall see what happens. But I got the this one, the Prelude Chroma, which is the colorful one. It's the one with all the, the pretty colors. I'm not gonna swatch that one right now. I'll save this for like a later video. Sorry, now I have hiccups, that's great. And the Prelude Exposed, which was basically the nude one, but I thought it did actually have some interesting colors. Let me get rid of that plastic. Some interesting colors for a nude palette, cause that's like kind of like a mulberry like purpley color and then that's like a gray and then it has black and then it has like this duochrome shade so I thought I had like some interesting shades for a basically nude palette and I actually thought that they would pair very nicely together also so I was looking forward to that and then uh my big purchase from Ulta which I know like I know people are boycotting this brand and that's fine, you do if that's what you want to do, but I don't have any issues whatsoever with their, uh, with their gel. And from what I understand, the issues that people are having are from the, like, co-washing, which I don't do. I don't co-wash. I use actual shampoo when I wash my hair. Um, so I don't do that, So, but I do love this gel very much so so I got a big one because I do go through it and when I use gels that are not this one I can tell because like this is I washed my hair last night and this is my hair shouldn't look like this from the next day like it should be it should still be curl it should still look like day one hair on day two and it doesn't so and that's because I was out of this and I didn't use this so now I have this again. And I've never had any issues with my hair falling out or bald spots or anything like that. Uh, so, so I guess I am taking the risk, but I'm not telling you what to do. If you want to stay away from the brand, if you feel like you are safe or not using the products, then go for it. Don't use the products. I'm not telling you to use the products. I'm just saying I like that product and I'm going to continue to use it. And I've been using it for a long time and I've never had any issues from it. So that's all I'm saying on that. And then um, I guess the last thing I'll show you is the other thing I picked up from Sephora, which I do plan to do a look with this one, a video look with this one uh, very soon. It's the new Artist Couture. Uh, what's it called? Supreme Nudes palette. Very nice, like, slimline packaging, which I really like. I think it's it feels very sleek, and it's, uh, it's something that gives me great pleasure to look at. Um, you know, okay, I said already that I'm addicted to eyeshadow palettes. Even more than that, I am fully addicted to neutral eyeshadow palettes. I know, like how many neutral eyeshadow palettes can one person have? If the answer exists, I can't give it to you, but I would take all of them. Uh, that's just how I feel. But look at these shades. Like they are beautiful. Like they're definitely nudes, but I mean, you've got the green, which is really nice, and some of the shimmers look like they're pretty intense, and you have like the yellowish types of nude shades, which I think go really good with green, and then like mahogany, a nice really deep shade. I think it looks like a fantastic nude palette, and I am very excited to use it, and I'm very excited to do a look for you guys with it. Hopefully more than one look. Um, 
So I'm hoping that this one is as good as it looks, but I'm excited for it. And that, my friends, is basically it. That's all I've got. Uh, if you want to see how this eye look looks in real life, uh, well, I mean, it's a couple hours later now, but um, the pictures that are on Instagram are how it looked. Like, for that's, that's how it looked, like, all day. Um, but now we're... God, what time is it? It's 10 o'clock. I did it maybe around, like, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, something like that. So, we're, like, 8 hours in. I'm sure I have, like, creasing and stuff like that. And the colors are not appearing true to life in this lighting. Maybe if I do this. Yeah, no, they look, like, way darker than they actually are. Like, and that does not look, like, green. Yeah, the colors don't look how they look in real life. Like, even my, I have blue eyes. You can't even tell I have blue eyes in this lighting. So, I apparently have to work out my lighting. I have to work out a lot of things. But I wanted to just pop up on here and throw something up on YouTube, even though it's not the video that I had planned, because I really do want to continue my presence on YouTube, even when you know, trouble is thrown my way. Oh, on my lips, I'm wearing the Dior, oh, these names, man. Stellar, Dior Addict Stellar Halo Shine in the shade Treasure Star, which is like the nude one. It's the only nude one. It's slightly pink, but it's pretty nude. Um, I'm also wearing it with ColourPop's Little One liner and the Dior Dior Attic Stellar Gloss in the shade D-Light, which is like basically the gloss version of the lipstick. And um, I'm wearing the coral blush today just because I wore the pink one. You can't really even see it. Um, but the coral blush today and I loved my makeup look today. It was fantastic. And I wish you guys got to see it, like how it was. Um, so maybe next time I'll get everything all worked out and it will turn out how I intend it to. So I don't know. I'm still struggling, obviously. So if you could just subscribe and like my video. <laughs> I know it's asking a lot because I kind of, I mean, well, I didn't drop the ball. Technology dropped the ball, but you know, I'm still trying and I'm still going to upload this. So if you could just, you know, give me a like, give me a comment, give me a subscription. That would just help me so much. You have no idea. YouTube makes it really, 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 really hard for new YouTubers and I just want to, I want to make something of this and I think that I have a lot to say and I think I have a lot to contribute to the beauty community. So, um, and I'm a, I'm a really nice person too. No, but, no, I am, but, uh, <laughs> but that's not why you have to subscribe. You have to subscribe because I'm telling you to, no. Uh, I'm not going to edit any of this out because I'm not editing videos or um, just going to be uploading this. Um, oh, also, I did pick out, like, uh, the, um, like, you can pick different things on Sephora. Like, it did not cost any points. I saved my points for the gift cards. Like, that's what I use my points for. Um, but this was a free, like, uh, thing to pick. Like, you could pick out, like, one of five different oils, CBD oils. I already tried that super expensive, I think it's St. Jane one, and every single time I used it, I broke out, so I was like, I'm not going to use that one again. So I picked up this herbivore one. It's called Emerald, and uh, so if any of you have tried it and like it, just uh, let me know. Tell me your experience with this It's a really pretty green, too. Tell me your experience with it, and I would love to hear about it. Also, uh, tell me your experience with Natasha Denona and uh, Sonia G. 
Yeah, oh, I used all Sonia G eye brushes to create my eye look today. I did put that on Instagram. Uh, so I will put in the description everything that I used, even though you can't really see my makeup now, like eight hours later. Um, but I'll put everything up there for you so that you at least know. And I'm gonna try to remember to look over here. Like, that's where I have to look. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's it. 20 minute video, not that bad. Better than my hour long one the other day. So with that, I'm gonna just sign off and just hope, hope to God that you subscribe and like my video and leave me a nice comment. That's it. All right, good night guys, that's it, bye.